Kaczynski, Emmer Edev, Paul Sturm, Davis Winslow, Eric Bernstein, and Rebecca Chasen. Moving on, the Council will be voting on three major legislative packages today. In the interest of time, I'm going to be summarizing these packages, uh, and then obviously when they vote, the members will be speaking on their items as well, so if they choose to do so. The first package, steered by our Committee on Health and sponsored by Council Members Johnson, Lander, Cabrera, Vaca, and Torres, would regulate the sale and consumption of cigarettes and other tobacco products throughout New York City. It would achieve this by establishing a 10% tax on tobacco products other than cigarettes, increasing the minimum price for a pack of cigarettes from $10.50 to $13, increasing the licensing fee for the sale of cigarettes, and decreasing the number of licenses available and prohibiting the sale of tobacco products in pharmacies among several other elements of the package. Smoking is still a major public health crisis to overcome in our city and around the world, and I applaud the members of this council for their initiative in making New York City a leader in creating a smoke-free future. Thank I want to thank Matt Gawab, David Seitzer, and Crystal Pond uh, for their work on these bills. The next two packages, along with a related item, are comprised of a total of 18 bills related to regulating construction practices in occupied multiple dwellings, preventing tenant harassment, and offering additional remedies to victims of tenant harassment. Sponsored by Council Members Chin, Gorodnik, Kalos, Levine, Reynoso, Mendez, Rosenthal, the Stand for Tenant Safety Act addresses the issue of unscrupulous landlords creating hazardous construction conditions to push tenants out of their homes. Alongside Introduction 1523A, which creates an Office of the Tenant Advocate within the Department of Buildings, this package of development bills will ensure that tenants are safe in their dwellings while construction is going on in their buildings and that they have resources available to them during such construction. Additionally, this package will ensure that contractors who engage in construction work without required permits or who violate stop work orders are held accountable for their actions. On staff, I want to thank Guillermo Patino, Megan Chen, Jose Conde, Sarah Gastelum, Emre Edev, Jen Wilcox, and Ed Atkin. Separate from the larger Department of Buildings package is Introduction 1133A, sponsored by Councilmember Jimmy Vaca, which would require the DOB to withhold building permits for certain properties which owe $25,000 or more in unpaid charges to the city. I want to thank Guillermo Patino, Megan Chen, Jose Conde, Sarah Gastelum, and Jen Wilcox for the work on that bill. And our final legislative package was first announced at my February State of the City address and further contributes to ending the practice of unscrupulous landlords harassing tenants out of their homes by empowering the legal remedies available to residents. This legislation would significantly expand harassment protections for tenants by easing the burden of proof in certain harassment cases, preventing landlords from visiting or contacting tenants at odd hours without prior consent, and allowing victims of harassment to recover damages and reasonable attorney fees. I want to thank Megan Chen, Guillermo Patino, Jose Conde, Sarah Gastelum, Ed Atkin, and Jen Wilcox. Uh, we cannot reverse many of the actions taken against tenants in the past, but with these legislative packages, the Council takes a major step forward in protecting these individuals in the future. So I look forward to your votes on all of these items detailed today, uh, and I want to thank you all so much. And with that, I end communication from the speaker. Discussion of general orders. Seeing none, report of special committees. None. Reports of standing committees. Report of the Committee on Consumer Affairs, Intro 1648A, Office of Nightlife. Amended and coupled on general orders. Report of the Committee on Finance, Preconsidered Intro 1676, Senior Citizen and Disabled Home Homeowners Exemptions. Coupled on general orders. Preconsidered Intro 1677, Wireless Communication Surcharge. Coupled on general orders. Report of the, of the Committee on Fire and Criminal Justice Services, Intro 135A, Response Times for Firefighting Units. On page three. Amended and laid over. Report of the Committee on Health, intro numbers 484A, 1131B, 1471A, 1532A, 1544B, 1547A, and 1585A regarding cigarettes and tobacco products. Amended and coupled on general orders. Report of the Committee on Housing and Buildings, intro 347B, harassment of tenants. Amended and coupled on general orders. Intro 918A, intro 924A, 926A regarding construction work and vacate orders. 
Amended and coupled on general orders. Intro 930A, distressed building subject to foreclosure. Amended and coupled on general orders. Intro 931B, building violations. Amended and coupled on general orders. Intro 936A, tenant protection plans. Amended and coupled on general orders. Intro numbers 938A, 939A, and 940A, 944A, construction work permits. Amended and coupled on general orders. Intro 960A, construction bill of rights. Amended and coupled on general orders. Intro numbers 1133A and 15. 1523A, Department of Buildings and Permits. Amended and coupled on general orders. Intro numbers 1530A, 1548A, 1549A, and 1556A on page 6, Tenant Harassment. Amended and coupled on general orders. Report of the Committee on Land Use, LU numbers 691 and 692, Special Midtown District. Approved with modifications and referred to the City Planning Commission pursuant to Rule 11.70B of the Rules of the Council and Section 197D of the New York City Charter. Excuse me. LU 694, excuse me, LU 694 and Reso 1606, disposition of city-owned property. Couple to be filed pursuant to letter of withdrawal. LU 695 and Reso 1607 and 696 and Reso 1608, zoning amendments. Couple to be filed pursuant to letter of withdrawal. LU 697 and Reso 1609 through LU 699 and Reso 1611, East Gun Hill Road. Couple, couple to be filed pursuant to letter of withdrawal. LU numbers 700 through LU 703 on page 9, zoning amendments. 703. Approved with modifications and referred to the City Planning Commission pursuant to Rule 11.70B of the Rules of the Council and Section 197D of the New York City Charter. LU, excuse me, LU 712 and Reso 1612, unenclosed sidewalk cafe. Motion to disprove. LU 713 and Reso 1613 and LU 714 and Reso 1614, sidewalk cafes. Coupled on general orders. LU 715 and Reso 1615, special Hudson Yards District. Coupled on general orders. Report of the Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Elections, M524 and Reso 1616, approving the appointment by the Mayor of Nasir O. Shita. Board coupled of Standards and Appeals. Coupled on general orders. Preconsidered M535 in Reso 1617, approving the redesignation of Michael Riva Diniera, Civilian Complaint Review Board. Coupled on general orders. On the general order calendar, LU 691 in Reso 1618 and 692 in Reso 1619, zoning amendments. Coupled on general orders. Re resolution appointing various persons, Commissioner of Deeds. Coupled on general orders, and I ask for roll call vote on all general orders. Before we begin the general, can we have uh, Council Member Costa, Costa Tanidis, how do you vote? Aye. Thank you. And Council Member Kozlowitz, how do you vote? I, I vote aye. Thank you. Back to the calendar. Oh, and Council Member Drum, I believe, asked to vote earlier as well. I vote aye. Thank you. Barron. Permission to make a quick announcement? Yes. Uh, thank you, Madam Public Advocate. Just before I cast my vote, I do want to announce to everybody here that this weekend, my mother will be celebrating her 95th birthday. So I wanted to let everybody know, 95, yes. So I've got information about the celebration and you're all invited to come. Uh, I vote aye on all. Borelli. Aye on all except 347, 484, 918, 1471, 1523, 1530, 1532, 1544, 1547, 1548, 1648, and 1677. Did you get all that? It was a lot. Thank you. Chin. Permission to explain my vote? Yes. Quiet in the chambers, please. Thank you. Today, we are going to vote on Intro 918A legislation that ensure greater accountability over the Department of Buildings self-certification process. This bill, along with its companion bills in the Stand for Tenant Safety package, will stop bad landlords from using construction as harassment to display and evict our tenants. Intro 918A is the first line of defense for tenants by requiring the DOB to institute limits on self-certification for landlords with a history of harassment. Tenants have a new weapon in our arsenal to fight harassment and stop the noise, the cloud dust, the damage to people's home before it even starts. I wanted to thank first my partner on this legislation, Council Member Manchaka. I want to thank our speaker and the chair of uh, housing and building, Councilmember Jamani Williams and Ramon Martinez for their 
leadership on this bill. But I also want to give a big thank you to all the tenants and all the advocates from the Stand for Tenant Safety Coalition, particular uh, Brian Kilbasa no from applause. Cooper Square Committee, who was always there by our side giving us counsel throughout the process. And lastly, I wanted to thank all the council staff who work on this bill, Megan Chan, Jean Wilcox, Guillermo Patino, Sarah Nasi from the Progressive Caucus, and my former housing director, Persephone Tang, who started this process, and my current deputy chief of staff and legislative director, Vincent Tang, for seeing it through. And I urge my colleague to vote for the whole package. Thank you. And I vote aye on all. Thank you. Cohen. Carnegie. I vote aye on all except 1131 and 1547, on which I abstain. Crowley. Thank you. Deutsch. Uh, may I uh, say a few words? Yes. Thank you. Shh. Today we are voting on intro 1676, which will take an important step towards each.